Okay? So let us look at our question 8B. It's saying that uh, a company, a certain company sells shares at one quarter 13 will per share. Okay? A businesswoman at 9,100 quarter to buy shares. How many shares did she get? Okay? So it's like we have got a company, a company which sells shares. Now, each share costs what? Uh, one quarter, 13 million. That's the cost of what? Of each share. Okay? Each share costs what? One quarter, 13 million. Okay, now a particular woman, she wanted to buy shares and she had uh, 9,100 to buy shares. And then we've been told to say, how many shares can she purchase from this amount, which is 9,100? Okay? Yes, if each share costs what? One quarter, 13 million. So in this case, we have been told to calculate the number of shares. Okay, she can buy from 9,100. So this one is very, very simple. So what you're going to do, are going to make proportions. Since we know that uh, one quarter, one quarter 13 ngwe, okay, is equivalent to what? One share. Okay, one share. Okay, okay. One quarter 13 ngwe, that's the one share. Now what about... 9,100 So 9,100 is equal to X We don't know the number of shares Okay? So in this case what we are going to do is uh, These two are going to go, these quarters are going to go in Then we are going to uh, adopt cross multiplication We are going to cross multiply So we are going to say 1.30 times X Okay? 1.30 times X Then one share multiplied by uh, 9,100 Okay, yes So 1.30 times x You obtain 1.30x Okay Is equal to uh, 9,100 times 1 share You are going to have 9,100 Okay Shares Okay it's then for us to make with x, divide both sides by the coefficient of x, which is 1.30, even this side by what? Uh, 1.30. So these two are going to go. They're going to remain with x. So you say x is equal to. Now in this case, uh, since you are not allowed to use calculators in mathematics paper 1, okay, it's going to be a challenge for you to divide. Uh, 1, 000, uh, so 9,100 divided by 1.30 So what you are going to do is We are going to get rid of this Okay, this decimal Okay, so it say Since we have got uh, two decimal places Okay, this number Below has got how many decimal places? Two, which are Z One, two, take note So two uh, Decimal places so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, multiply these two by 100, okay? So we say 9,100, okay? Multiplied by 100, okay? Over 1.30 multiplied by 100 as well. Where is 100 coming from, okay? Uh, so we have got how many decimal places? We have got one, two. So no wonder we decided to put two zeros, okay? If we had, let's say, three decimal places, we could have added three zeros. If we had one decimal place here, we could have said, uh, we, could, we could have multiplied by what? By 10, okay? Yes, but in this case, we have got uh, two decimal places, one, two. No wonder we are multiplying by 100, okay? Yes, okay? The essence of doing this, we want to get rid of this decimal, okay? So we say x is equal to, when you multiply uh, 9,100 uh, by 100, you are going to obtain uh, 910,000. Okay? 910,000 divided by 1.30 times 100, you are going to obtain 130. Okay? 130. Can we add these zeros to maintain? Okay? 
Then we say x is equal to uh, this and this are going to go, this and this are going to go, then this zero and this zero are going to go as well. Then we are going to say 13 is a factor of 91. Meaning 13 can go into 91. So 13 into 13 is 1. 13 into 91. This is 7. Okay, so we are remaining with 7,000. Okay, so the answer is 7,000 shares. 7,000 shares. Okay, so she's going to have uh, 7,000 shares for 9,100 kwacha. So 9,100 kwacha, she's going to uh, have how many shares? 7,000. If you want to prove, just need to multiply. Uh, 7,000 by 1.30 kwacha. Okay, you're going to have this amount. Okay, so this is the way it runs. Okay, yeah.